So today I am actually um, doing a quarantine tag. I was tagged by a good friend of mine here on YouTube, Lady Phoenix from the channel Really Good Living. Um, she does a lot of home decors and I think this is her first tag, I think. Um, and a lot of she, her channel is mostly glam and y'all, she goes all out. She's super talented and absolutely incredible. I will leave her channel down in the description box below. You guys can go ahead and check her out and show her some love. Thank you so much, Dallin, for tagging me in this quarantine tag. Oh my goodness, boy, do I have a lot to say. <laughs> but thank you so much for tagging me. I will be tagging a few ladies um, later on in this video, so make sure you guys stay till the very end so that you can know, get to know who I tagged in this video. Um, some really amazing ladies. Um, these ladies have supported me and inspired me in so many different ways and I just love and appreciate them and appreciate all their support and their love. Um, so I have 10 questions here that I am going to be um, answering and yeah, let's get into the tag. <laughs> so I've got my comfy pillow here because uh, I just love comfort and just being home right now, that is all, like I stay in my pajamas 90% of the time. Um, I just went ahead and closed my bedroom door. My kids are out there and they're fine, they're safe, everybody's good. They're still doing their home, their, well, homeschool work. Um, and I just stole a little time to just come in here and do the tag because it is so noisy everywhere else in the house. So I'm gonna be really quick, but I just wanted to um, go ahead and let you guys know why I'm locked up in my bedroom, because <laughs> I am. Okay, so the first question is, did you prepare for the quarantine or did you wait until the last minute? I didn't prepare for the quarantine. Um, I had no time to prepare for the quarantine. It was like a, it was like a twilight zone type situation. Um, one minute everything was cool, the next minute everybody was buying the toilet paper off the shelf. So I didn't really know what was happening. I didn't understand what was going on um, until a few weeks in. So no, I didn't prepare for the quarantine. However, we typically are, you know, prepared and do have some things on hand. But I do grocery shopping every week anyway, and so I don't go overboard because I am not prepared for Armageddon or the end of the world um, or the apocalypse. So I, um, I just go and I buy as we need. Also, I just don't feel the need to go out there and stock up so many things and other people out there may need. Some, some things that I don't need, um, I just, I find that it's a waste to stock up on things that is unnecessary. You understand what I'm saying? Like, by the end of this thing, you're not gonna need all that toilet paper. <laughs> I don't even understand the obsession with toilet paper. Like, is it gonna save you from the, the virus? I don't know. But I have enough toilet paper and no, I did not prepare. <laughs> Um, second question is, are you secretly happy you are home or are you miserable and can't wait to go outside? I am a homebody. I'm an introvert. I love being home. I love my home. Um, I work from home, so it wasn't anything that was new to me. So I am happy being home. In terms of going outside, we only go outside to take walks around our cul-de-sac. Um, I do go out in the front to garden and clean my porch. And then um, in the backyard, we've been kind of just it behind, you know, in the backyard, kind of just playing around and stuff. But the weather has been crazy here, so we really haven't had much time to go outside. Other than that, the only outside that I do see is going to the grocery store once a week. My kids, they don't go anywhere besides the neighborhood and the backyard. So, who is the last person you checked on during the quarantine? I, I check on everybody. Um, typically, I talk to my mom a thousand times a day, um, but I do check on everyone that you know that I know, my loved ones, my family, my friends, um, even on social media. I do check up on some of you know my YouTube people that I'm really close with and um, that 
we sort of build a relationship with. So I, I do check up on a lot of people and um, yeah, they check up on me too. Number four, how do you normally spend your day during the quarantine? Okay, so my day starts at about four o'clock in the morning because my daughter Nyla gets up at around that time. Um, so once I'm up at four, typically I'm kind of laying in the bed doing my devotions, I'm reading. Um, sometimes I am praying in the morning, but I, I don't normally pray every morning. Um, I pray throughout the day. So I'm either laying in the bed, um, you know, I change Nyla's diapers, I get her something to eat, uh, make breakfast around 7 o'clock, sometimes 9, get my kids up for, um, for them to log into Google Classroom, and then from there, we're, t we're really just, we're working. We're doing schoolwork, where if I have to make a video, I'll try to get a video in while they're doing their schoolwork if they don't need my assistance. And then I am cleaning, I am cooking, I am doing laundry, I'm chasing my, uh, my 14 year old Nyla I'm around the house, I'm cleaning up after her, I'm cleaning up after everyone else and I'm trying to stay sane. And my day typically ends at around 10, 11 ish um, after cooking, making lunch, dinner, snacks getting everybody to take baths um, and then you know getting them in bed during the week time they go to bed at around 9 30 and then on Fridays you know the weekends I typically let them just stay up until 12 1 o'clock because they're not going anywhere and they we can't do anything so I let them just stay up a little bit on the weekend and um, you know just do their thing so that's typically my day I am running from 4 o'clock till about 11 o'clock at night uh, number five, who are you quarantined with? My husband and my kids. Number six, have you been outside and how many times? Like I said, I have been just walking um, 15 to 20 minutes, my family and I, um, around our cul-de-sac. We have like a little park area and in the park there's no swings or anything. We just have like a trail. So we walk through the trails or we'll be in the backyard playing, cleaning up getting it ready for summertime, um, and then I'm outside gardening. So I am typically, you know, outside, not a lot, not a whole lot, honestly. We, we don't really go outside that much because the weather here, sometimes it's warm, sometimes it's freezing, sometimes we're having snow, like we just had snow yesterday. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's, it's, we're not outside a lot. Um, I do go to the grocery store once a week. Yes, it used to be twice a month, and now I'm going four times a month. So, yeah. <laughs> um, how many hours per day are you sleeping? None. <laughs> maybe, maybe three to four hours a day. Um, and that's because, like I said, I'm going to bed at around 11. 11.30 and then by 4 o'clock, sometimes 3 o'clock in the morning, I am waking up. And I'm the type of person that once I'm up, I literally cannot go back to sleep. So I'm, pro I'm getting no sleep. <laughs> I'm getting no sleep. Uh, how many, I'm sorry, how many hours are you sleeping? Number eight, what is your favorite food to snack on during the quarantine? What have I not been eating? OMG. I love jerk chicken. I am from Jamaica and anything Caribbean, anything Italian, I am eating. I just love Caribbean food. I love Italian food. I love all foods really. I mean, I'm just a foodie and I've really been um, going after jerk. Like everything that is jerk, jerk chicken, jerk salmon, jerk steak, jerk tilapia, jerk lamb. Whatever I can put jerk sauce on is typically what I'm eating. <laughs> um, in terms of snacks, I love um, plantain chips, so I've been eating that. And also jalapeno chips, I've been eating that as well. And I've also been eating sweet potato chips. Yeah, lots of chips. I'm eating lots of chips. <laughs> so... 
I am probably I probably have already gained like five pounds so there you go number nine what have you been watching on television not a whole lot but I normally typically YouTube that's my typical lineup um, I watch YouTube throughout the day as I'm working as I'm I like white night white noise so I like to have the TV on in the background so I'm glancing at YouTube um, at night when all the when the kids are in bed I love to watch last man standing on Hulu and also Seinfeld is like my go-to but um, I've been watching Family Reunion with Tia and Loretta Devine. That show is so funny, y'all. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. And of course, I've been watching Fuller House because you know my girl Candace Cameron Bure is on there. Um, let me see, what else have I been watching? A lot of home decors, HGTV. I've been watching a lot of house hunters and, you know, just home decors and all those things. So, yeah, that's typically what my television watching schedule is like anyway oh yes and a lot of whole um yo gabba gabba's and disney plus oh my gosh oh disney plus just a lot of disney movies <laughs> um although i must say i love aladdin like we've watched aladdin i think about two times the other day we rented the, the new trolls um troll on stage or something like that that was fun we did that for family movie night that was a lot of fun um, so number 10 is how much toilet tissue did you buy I didn't buy a lot of toilet tissue I I typically don't stock up on a lot of toilet tissue I'll get like a 12 pack or a 24 pack and that'll last me and my family for about a good two months two and a half months I don't buy a lot of toilet tissue um, I just I don't have anywhere to, to store them like that um, and I just don't like clutter so I'm not, I don't normally go out and buy bulks of anything. I don't like clutter. I don't like a lot of stuff just packed into my closets and my house. And I just, I like, I like freedom. <laughs> so I did not buy a lot of toilet paper. And um, I, I don't know the reason for the toilet paper, but no, I did not buy a lot of toilet paper um, at all. So now I have a few of the ladies that I do want to tag. Um, like I said before, these ladies are just my heart. They have inspired me so much. They have supported my channel in so many ways. And I am just so grateful. So I'm just going to go down the list. And I will also put it in the description box. And I'll probably put it on the screen as well so that you can see it for yourself. Um, so I'm going to be tagging Shalomi from the Glamorous Penny Pincher, Heidi Sambo from Heidi Sambo DIY and Heidi Sambo Home, I Love My Babies Forever, Tangi from Home Decor DIY and more with Tangi Webb, Stephanie from Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie, Lisa from Lisa and Co. Um, I am also going to be tagging Lindsay from Domer Home. Charmin from Fix and Two, Jelena from Blondie Next Door, Abby from Abby's Next. She's a newbie to YouTube, so make sure y'all go ahead and check her out. Also, Miss Barbara from Decorating with Barbara. I love Miss Barbara, you guys. Oh my goodness. She's been so supportive on my channel, and I just, I'm grateful for her. Um, you know, sometimes you have big YouTubers, and they just don't really support you, but um, Miss Barbara, Catherine from Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I'm also tagging you, Miss Catherine. Um, Catherine, Miss Barbara, and Heidi, they have just been like my rock. Y'all have no idea. Um, they have supported me so much, and I'm so grateful. So grateful. A lot, I mean, all these ladies have been like a support system for me, and I am just so grateful to them. Um, so yeah, I am tagging all you ladies, so make sure that you go ahead and do your video because I want to see what you guys are saying. I want to see what, you're, what you um, are going to be talking about for this quarantine tag. I want to see what y'all are doing. 
All right, so thank you so much, Lady Phoenix, once again for tagging me again. Her video, um, her channel will be in the description box down below. Make sure y'all go ahead and check her out. And if you are new to my channel, if you're coming over from Lady Phoenix channel or any of the other ladies' channels, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up. It really um, helps my channel to grow. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends, family, social media networks, and also hit that bell, double tap it, so that you receive all of my notifications. This was such an amazing tag. I hope everyone is staying home and staying safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for your prayers for my dad and for my family. He is doing wonderful and he will be discharged later today. I am so grateful to God for him and for you guys. So I just want to tell you, thank you so much. You guys are my heart. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget that Jesus is Lord, that he loves you and I love you too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. I'm lost in the night.